Okay. Uh, this morning is a video about a little clock unit that I picked up for a project. Um, these are listed as three-in-one clocks. They tell the time, the temperature, and the voltage. I, they're, I, I don't get really the point of the temperature and voltage. Um, anyways, let's look this thing up to power. Uh, I've got, they will hook, they will work with any power or voltage ratings from, uh, is it 5.5 up to 30 volts, although the, it says not to use it with the 24 volt system because you could fry it. Uh, that's because there's a, a small voltage regulator on here. So if you're going to use this in a, basically anything over 12 volts, you probably would want to put in a separate voltage regulator or a small switching, uh, or you know, small buck converter. Uh, this one happens to be blue, and that's needed for a project I've got. Um, if you look on the back here, you'll see that there is a temperature probe, pointless. There is a backup battery. Underneath the backup battery is a chip that I, without removing the battery, I can't read what it is. And then this thing is a little tiny microcomputer. Uh, I, I did some research on it because one of the problems with this thing is that it displays only 24 hour time. Uh, for some reason, all of these only display 24 hour time. No AM, PM, uh, no option to turn off the 24 hour time. And I have a feeling the only way you could do that is, uh, is you'd have to reprogram this chip. And there is some documentation online, but I don't, it's beyond me. and. I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, the other uh, annoying thing about this is it only tells temperature in Celsius. Um, it will tell you the date and it tells you the voltage. So you can see that it's 1002. Um, if I press, there's two buttons here. This one is for setting and this one is for changing. So if I press this one, it changes to the date, 901. It will not show the, the year. And it shows the temperature here. I do not know if this is accurate. Um, and the voltage that it's receiving, 8.1 volts. Uh, so to setting it, there, there are instructions, and these, in, what I'm going to show you is only for the one that has the two buttons that are on either side. There are some that have two buttons close to each other, and those are different. Also, the instructions I could find for this are wrong, or at least they don't apply to this one. So you press this button and it shows you the, the time, you can change the minute, press it again, and you can change the hour. This is the day, this changes the month. This is the accuracy, I believe, for the temperature. This is the accuracy control for the voltage. You can see I've got it at 0.1 minus. 
And this, these DD options are controls when you put this in the mode where it will switch between time, temperature, voltage, date. Uh, there's four modes in here. 0, 1, 2, and 3. And I won't go through each of those. You can find the instructions online or I'll link to them or put them in my description. I leave it at 0. And then press it again and it goes back to the time. Now, it took me a while to figure this out because it wasn't in the instructions. If you hold this button down for a long period of time, I think. No, it didn't do it. Let's try this one. Let's see if it does it. Nope, let's try it again. What it's supposed to do, there it goes, is switch between the modes. Um, and the DD options change what shows when you do this. For the application I'm going to use this in, I just want the clock. And then a quick press is supposed to lock it in. Uh, this thing is very small. I don't have a metric out here, but as you can see, it's like barely one and a half inches by about a half an inch. And approximately a half an inch tall without this connector on the back. And some of these come with the connector, some of them don't. This one did not, I just took, took this from something. So, that's it. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching.